Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing place value and the different ways to write a number. So let me show you first how to fold your paper so that you have four different sections and a box in the middle. So here's your paper. You're going to fold it over once, hamburger style, and then fold it over again. Your paper should look like this. Where the paper is all folded in this corner over here, so not in the ones where the where the papers are separated, but in the corner where they all fold together. You're gonna take that one, fold it over just like that. And then when you open it, and when you open it, you'll have a paper with four different sections and this little square in the middle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and outline that really quickly. So let's start with um, a two digit number. Let's say our number is 73. So over here in the first box, let's build it. And you're gonna build it by showing it with base 10 blocks. And remember we represent tens with just lines and I like to use dots to show my ones. So if we look here in the tens place, the tens digit is seven, which actually stands for 7D. So we're gonna show seven tens like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are my seven tens. And in the ones place, we have three. So that may, means there are three ones in 73. One, two, three. So that is how we would represent the number 73 using base 10 blocks. Okay, in our next box, let's do standard form. Standard form is just how the number is written like that. This is standard form. The digits that represent a number. And remember that a digit is like um, a letter in a word. So digits make up numbers just like letters make up words. Okay, let's go to this box over here. Over here we're going to do expanded form. And just like we talked about in class, expanded form is when you pull those digits apart and write down the value of each digit. So we're gonna look here first. A seven in the tens place is actually a 7D. And then a three in the ones place is actually just the value, the value is just three. So you're gonna show expanded form of 73 is just 70 plus three. And lastly, over here, let's do word form. Word form is when you write out the number with actual letters and words. So 73. 70, and this was a spelling word, three. And then a dash goes in between the ones place and the tens place like this. So that's how you would write 73. Okay, let's go ahead and fold our paper so that we can build and write the standard expanded and word form of a three digit number. So I'm gonna fold my paper so it's all prepped and ready again. The three digit number that I'm going to work with this time is 200 and 56. So let's start over here by building it first. So this time we have a three digit number. We have the ones digit, which is a six, tens digit, which is a five, and hundreds digit, which is a two. So this number is 256. So to show hundreds, I'm gonna draw a square which is like those, if we were using the base 10 blocks, they look like a square like this. So here's 200. So this is 100, this is 100. Together they show 200. Now I'm going to show my five tens with my 
lines which kind of look like tally marks like I did in my two digit number. So there are five tens. Here's one, two, three, four, five. And lastly, my six ones which I represent with dots. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So here is 256. Okay, let's move over to standard form. Standard form is just the number written with digits. So 256 is how you write this three digit number in its standard form. Expanded form So remember, expanded form is when we pull apart each digit in the number and write down the value of each digit. So if I'm starting with 256, this two is not just a two, it's actually 200. And then we put our plus sign, we go to the next digit, which is the tens digit. It's not just a five there, that is actually 50. And lastly, another plus sign, and then our ones place, six. Six ones is actually just six. So if we were to add together 200 plus 50 plus six, we would get 256. Okay, and let's show our number in word form. So 200, 50, and then there's a dash between the tens and the ones, just like that, 256. And lastly today, I'm going to show you how to draw or build a four digit number, write the standard form, expanded form, and word form of that four digit number as well. So our four digit number, let's make it 1,000, 542. So first let's build it using our um, base 10 blocks which we're going to draw. So now we have a number in the thousandths place. So if you remember a thousand is shown with that cube. It looked something like that. So just try your best to draw a cube this cube represents 1,000. Now we have five hundreds. So 100 was just the square, it was flat. If we think about our base 10 blocks, the hundreds square is called a flat. So there's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So, so far we have 1,500. And now we need to do our tens place. There are four tens, which we represent like this. One, two, three, four. And lastly, two ones. One, two. So here's 1,542. Let's move over to standard form. Standard form is just the number written with digits. So when you have a four digit number, you actually have the comma that goes in between the thousands and the hundreds digit. So this number shows 1,542 and the comma goes right there between the one and the five or the thousands and hundreds digit. Okay, let's go down here and write the expanded form, pull apart each digit and write the value. as an addition equation. So I'm gonna start with this one here, but remember it's not actually just a one. The value of this one is 1,000. Then we're gonna add next our hundreds. This is not just a five, it's actually 500. Then we're gonna add our tens. 40, four tens is 40, and lastly our ones. So 1,000 plus 500 plus 40 plus two. And then our word form. One 
thousand. Five hundred forty dash two. And that's how you write the word form of one thousand five hundred forty two.